Hello Sweens, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on this nail look right here. I basically have some clear acrylic extensions on and I'm going to be showing you the look that I have on top. So it has acrylic roses, some really cool mylar flakes underneath and I also did a shell nail with some bling on it. So if that's something that interests you guys then just keep on watching. So before jumping into the tutorial guys, here is an overview of all of the products I used for today's nails. And as always, if you are interested in any of the products or the tools that I have used, then please check out the description box and I will go ahead and leave everything linked down there. And I will also mention the products throughout this video. So now that you know the products, let's jump right into it. So moving right on with this tutorial guys, I have already went ahead and applied my base coat and then buffed the surface shine and I'm now going in with one coat of Semilac's Delicate French to the middle finger. Next, I'm applying one coat of Semilac's Baby Girl to the pointer finger and also the pinky. And then I'm going to do a little bit of clean up and then pop that into an LED light for 30 seconds. Next we're moving on to the ring finger and the thumb and for that I'm using number 9 baby girl and number 279 light violet and I am painting one side with the light violet and the other side with baby girl. So I'm now going to go in with my gel ombre brush and I'm going to slightly blend the colours by blending them going across the way and then once I'm finished doing that I like to go up and down the way and that way I am getting an even blend and the colours match so I'm basically creating another colour for the middle so it looks like an even proper blend. And now I'm going to repeat that process until I have full opacity. So I'm just going to go in with light violet and then baby girl and again use my blending brush and do the same process. Now we're moving back on to the middle finger and I'm first going to start with a coat of Delicate French and while that gel polish is still wet I'm going to again use my ombre brush and I'm going to apply those mylar flakes that I got from Burn Pretty Store all on that nail. And then when I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and pop that into an LED light for a full cure. And then onto the inhibition layer of the thumb and the ring finger, I'm going to be using this Glitter RA Magic Pearl Powder and my silicone tool. I'm just going to first rub some of that powder into the inhibition layer. And when I've got rid of the sticky layer, I'm going to use my finger to bring out the shine of this powder. But you will notice that the nail is still quite dull and that's because this powder really doesn't come to life until you put a top coat on I'm then going to use my dusting brush to clean up any of that excess powder and then I'm going to go ahead and add a top coat which is the Semilac 2-in-1 and then once again those goes into an LED light for 30 seconds Under your spotlight. 
And then using a lint-free wipe and some nail surface cleanser, I'm going to go ahead and remove the sticky layer and clean up around my cuticles with that as well. So this is what the nails look like so far and you can most definitely leave them like this if you wish but I need to bling everything. So for that I'm going to be using my Ink London Mrs Clear Acrylic Powder. I'm also going to be using the Clearly Kolinsky Number no. 8 Acrylic Brush. The Monomer also by Ink London and I've gone ahead and prepared some 3D acrylic roses in my little molds here and using that I used new bar uh, red and pink so I'm going to go ahead and remove them once they're dry and add a bit of clear acrylic to the nail at the top and the bottom and secure those little roses to that And then I'm just going to make sure I press them down firmly into that wet acrylic and if any leaks out you could just see that I'm removing that dry acrylic and then I'm going in with some really wet beads of acrylic around that rose just to make sure it stays secure to the nail. And then for the ring finger, I'm first starting by applying a bead of clear acrylic to the top of the nail again. And then I'm securing my gold decor piece, which is basically like a little shell with a pearl on the end, to the top of the nail. And then I'm going to completely surround that with some AB check crystals that I have from my recent haul. And I was realising that the acrylic was drying far too quick for the crystals, so I went ahead and just used some nail glue to make sure I completely surrounded that with those AB crystals. I then did the exact same with the roses and just added some for a little bit of extra dimension to that nail as well. And then using my CND white gel polish and also a fine detail brush, I'm going to start at the bottom of the nail and then slowly drag the paint up the nail so I start to form a little shell. Now going in with the second coat and before I dry this, I'm going to be putting some clear acrylic on this. So you just want to outline where you put your previous lines and while it's wet, I'm going to just sprinkle some clear acrylic onto this for a more 3D look. And then I'm just going to tap off the excess and pop that into an LED light for 30 seconds and then using my scrubbing brush just remove any excess acrylic powder. And as always the last and final step is to finish with a good slick of cuticle oil on all of those nails. I'm going to massage that in. And here is what the design looked like once everything was complete and if you guys would like to see a tutorial on some different ways that you could use those nail art molds do let me know in the comment section below and I can show you guys what I have in my collection and how I use them. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did please give me a thumbs up I would totally appreciate it and if you're new to my channel hello my name is Kylie I am a complete nail polish addict and on this channel you will find everything from nail art to swatches reviews and the occasional haul so if that's something that piques your interest go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one as always thank you for watching bye